Nearly 10 African countries are benefiting from Exim Bank principles of sincerity with their loans aimed at improving infrastructure development in the continent. South Sudan is among African countries Exim Bank Vice President says are receiving infrastructural loans. And the third is to stick to the attitude of close friendship and bring benefits for the people. China and Africa forms an interdependent community of shared destiny. We have built up close friendship and the brotherhood we shared uh, uh, over these years. Chinese people and African people, people feel naturally close to each other. And also China Exim Bank has long been the positive participant and contributor of the social development of Africa. The projects supported by China Exim Bank can be found everywhere on the African continent. From the construction of Karachi Beni Malau Expressway in Morocco to the renovation and extension of Dubai National Airport of South Sudan, from the creepy deep water port of Cameroon to the Karuma hydropower station and power distribution system of Uganda, from the mobile hospital of Zambia to the construction of the Science and Technology University of Malawi. These projects bring real benefits to local people, improve the local economic and social development, showcase the friendship between China and Africa, and are all high, highly praised by African countries and widely welcomed by African people. Earlier this month, South Sudan delegation signed a facility loan was 169 million US dollar. The agreement, according to Finance Minister Stephen Dew, will look to upgrade Juba Torid and Juba Nadapal Road. We had signed the facility loan agreement for Jupa Tauri Road with the Exim Bank. We had also agreed in principle on possible kick off of Jupa Nisi to Tauri Road. During Exim Bank meeting with African journalists in China, the representative of Exim Bank Cooperative Businesses, Mingao, says their initial stages for the newly signed infrastructure deal was ongoing. And the political situation of South Sudan is becoming more stable recently, and the South Sudanese government is trying to boost the economy by infrastructure development and natural resource exploitation. Uh, South Sudan is rich in natural resources. A proper exploitation of these natural resources may help South Sudan to increase its fiscal income and the debt service capacity. And as of the uh, Juba Torrid Road project, <coughs> and this road and it, it, its extension line is the uh, first uh, first uh, uh, cooperation project between China Exim Bank and the World Bank using parallel financing. Uh, the construction of road road network for South Sudan and its neighboring countries can improve the transportation condition of South Sudan. And now Chinese companies are, are making plans and preparations uh, for the uh, construction of this project. And also, uh, after China Exim Bank has signed the law agreement regarding this project, we have to uh, reach some uh, requirements so that those uh, these uh, law agreements can be effective. Uh, the construction of this project uh, does not only concern China Exim Bank, but also we need the help and assistance from your good government and the relevant departments. Although the uh, start of the construction of this road involves the uh, cooperation between China Exim Bank and the World Bank. And the project, according to Exim Bank, will be closely monitored to ensure it meets the agreed standards. Joba Torit will be handled by Exim Bank Finance, while Torit Nadapal is to be handled by the World Bank. James Arusi, SSBC, Beijing, China.